Welcome to today's daily message for loving your life. So today it is Monday, April 6th, 2020. It is a beautiful start of the week. We just had Easter Sunday yesterday and we are experiencing this rebirth from within, from our family dynamics and from even our career standpoint. Things are renewing. I really feel the magic in the air today for healing, for more love, for compassion, and for empathy because empathy really helps you to step into the other person's shoes if you're having any conflicts within your family or relationship dynamics and really help you to heal and see the bigger picture. So let us begin today with our morning prayer and then we'll get started with the spiritual guidance. So thank you God for a beautiful brand new day today. We welcome in these new beginnings we welcome in the new soul tribe, new inspirational ideas to keep going. Thank you for giving us strength when we feel like quitting. Thank you for keeping us positive when we feel like not being positive. And thank you for loving us above all. We thank you so much that we're under your care. And we know that everything is happening as it should. So there's nothing to worry about. And we thank you. Namaste. Beautiful. Okay, so now let us begin with the spiritual guidance for today and see what the angels have to say. All right, for Monday. are rare so i feel like getting the bottom card today you are rare meaning that you're special just the way you are people might not understand you but you are special and there's something very rare about your skills and your talents and your gifts that you need to use towards your spiritual mission i feel like get creative today because all of these colors are also you know this realignment of our chakra body the rainbow body and this is how we connect to the divine. This is how we become one with the divine. And we are open to higher consciousness. And being assertive when we are different, when we don't fit in, or when we feel like we don't belong with those around us, be willing to stand up for yourself. Today we're actually going to be doing the next webinar, which is that of assertiveness and healthy boundaries. And I really feel like this pertains to this because the more that you realize that you're special, and that it's okay if you don't fit in. Don't dim your light to fit in, that's okay. Then you're gonna realize your value here on earth and God is gonna bless you with that and you're gonna be doing what you're meant to be doing. So focus today on balancing you know, your body, mind and spirit so that you can get in line with seeing things clearly, not getting fogged up by the illusions of what happens in your world around you today just stay in this knowing that you're rare for a reason, okay? And see this as an extra blessing. Because the more different that you are, that means that you're not a follower, you're a leader. You see, leaders are different for a reason because they are trendsetters, not trend followers. So be grateful for this today. We're actually going to be grateful for that today. So let us open up our gratitude journal. And write our gratitude statement for today and then we'll get to the affirmation i am grateful that i am different and rare so I use this as a
reassurance that I am a leader of the light and love. So this is going to be your intrinsic motivation for today. You are a leader. And you know what? I'm actually, this is what I stay, I wrote the other day. Stay strong despite you being different, despite people being against you. You are a leader. So I'm actually going to write here in this white one, you are a leader. So choose a color that stands out for you. I'm going to actually choose this light blue for like light worker. You are a leader. And a warrior of light so with you remembering this you're gonna keep standing strong no matter what you are a leader okay so remember that my friends so now let us see what the affirmation for today is because I really feel a strong affirmation today actually a beautiful message I am free and liberated from all burdens I am free to experience my life as I please I am free to enjoy my soul journey so liberate yourselves from any you know burdens that you've been holding on to any arguments with your family members or with your friends or your partner and liberate yourself from these emotions liberate yourself from the past and enjoy your soul journey because that is the experience of life and that's what we're meant to be doing right now at this moment enjoy the present moment despite anything around you so now let us start with the daily lesson from A Course in Miracles and today we are actually on lesson 97 and it's a very beautiful message it says, I am spirit. How beautiful is this? Today's idea identifies you with your one self. It accepts no split identity, nor tries to weave opposing factors into unity. It simply states the truth. Practice this truth today as often as you can, for it will bring your mind from conflict to the quiet fields of peace. No chill of fear can enter, for your mind has been absolved from madness letting go illusions of a split identity, meaning that split identity from the ego and love. Don't let fear penetrate your aura and stay in this love. We state again the truth about yourself, the Holy Son of God who rests in you, whose mind has been restored to sanity. You are the spirit lovingly endowed with all your father's love and peace and joy. You are the spirit which completes himself and shares his function as creator. He is with you always, as you are with him. Today we try to bring reality still closer to your mind. Each time that you practice, awareness is brought a little nearer at least. Sometimes a thousand years or more are saved. The minutes which you give are multiplied over and over. For the miracle makes use of time, but is not ruled by it. Salvation is a miracle. The first and last, the first that is the last, for it is one. You are the spirit in whose mind abides the miracle, in which all time stands still. The miracle in which a minute spent in using these ideas becomes a time which has no length and which has no end. Give then these minutes willingly and count on him who promised to lay timelessness besides them. He will offer all his strength to every little effort which you make. Give him the minutes which he needs today to help you to understand with him that you are the spirit that abides in him and which calls through his voice 
to every living thing, offers his sight to everyone who asks, replaces error with the simple truth. The Holy Spirit will be glad to take five minutes of each hour from your hands and carry them around this aching world where pain and misery appear to rule. He will not overlook one open mind that will accept the healing gift they bring and he will lay them everywhere that he knows they will be welcome and they will increase in healing power each time someone accepts them as his thoughts and uses them to heal. Thus will your gift to him be multiplied a thousandfold and tens of thousands more. And when it is returned to you, it will surpass in might the little gift that you gave as much as does the radiance of the sun outshine the tiny gleam a firefly makes an uncertain moment and goes out. Yet will the steady brilliance of this light remain, leads you out of darkness, nor will you be able to forget the way again. Begin these happy exercises with the words the Holy Spirit speaks to you and let them echo round the world through him. Spirit am I a holy son of God, free all free of all limits, safe and healed and whole, free to forgive and free to save the world. You can save the world just by being you, by being rare. Keep knowing this and free yourself. So how perfect is this message? I free myself from these burdens and I'm free to be healed, to forgive and to save the world. Spirit doesn't give us messages by no, for no reason. Express through you, the Holy Spirit will accept this gift which you received of Him. Increase its power and give it back to you. Offer each practice period today gladly to Him, and He will speak to you reminding you that you are spirit, one with Him and God, your brothers and yourself. Listen for His reassurance each time that you speak the words He offers you today, and let Him tell your mind that they are true. Use them against temptation to either be cruel or mean to anybody or to stay stuck in your own negative thinking. Escape its sorry consequences if you yield to the belief that you are something else. The Holy Spirit gives you peace today. Receive his words and offer them to him. So that is a beautiful message for this Monday morning to begin in peace. I really hope that you have an amazing, productive day. Stay tuned for the motivational speech. I'm going to teach you how to stay motivated despite what's going on currently in the world. So I wish you all an amazing and beautiful day. Namaste.